International Space Station, more commonly known as its short form ISS, is a large spacecraft laboratory situated in Earth's orbit. This multinational construction project's mission is to uncover the universe so that mankind can enable long-term exploration of space and provide benefits to Earthlings. With 18 nations involved in this project, it is one of the biggest space projects in the world. This project is proof that when the nations of the world join their hands to establish something for the betterment of the world, how efficient the whole project becomes. But not all of the nations can take part in this project. China is the country that is not allowed in the ISS. In this video, we'll be learning about the ISS's history a bit, and we'll go through the reason why actually China is banned from ISS and how China is building its own space station. The idea of a space station was one science fiction, existing only in the imagination, until it became clear in the 1940s that the construction of such a structure might be attainable. As the space age began in 1950, the idea became more vivid in the scientists' imagination. The project, which was named Freedom, began as an American effort. U.S. President Ronald Reagan authorized the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, to construct a permanently manned Earth-orbiting station within 10 years. The station was redesigned in the 1990s to reduce costs and expand international involvement, at which time it was renamed. But the USA wasn't the only country to achieve the feat of building a space station. Soviet Union was also on the same mission. They even sent the first human to space in the 1960s. So, in 1993, as plans were still underway, U.S. Vice President Al Gore and Russian Prime Minister Viktor Chernomyrdin reached an agreement to begin constructing a joint space station. As a result of that agreement, they merged their separate space station plans into a single facility, integrating their respective modules. Assembly of the International Space Station the ISS began with the launch of the Russian control module Zarya, and a month later the US-built Unity flew to space and the nodes were connected, which were linked in orbit by the US space shuttle astronauts. Now, this project has the support of 18 nations of the world, and as a multinational project, it goes without saying that trust is very much important here. Though the USA had concerns about Russia transferring their technological advancements to enhance their military strength, they didn't have any other options but to rely on Russia after the disaster of Colombia in 2003. So, Russia has been in charge of the transportation of the astronauts to and from the ISS. So the ISS being a huge multinational project, China was one nation that couldn't join this project. Despite its interests in collaborating on the International Space Station, China was officially barred from visiting by the United States in 2011. What exactly happened? The Chinese Space Agency was founded in 1993, so when the collaboration of nations to build an International Space Station happened, it was five years old. Being that young, they lacked the experience and couldn't offer any useful contribution to the project. Well, that is the cause shown by many at the time. In 2003, China sent an astronaut into space, which made China the only country besides the United States and the Soviet Union to complete the feat independently. After launching their first solo astronaut, they have followed in rapid succession with two-person and three-person crews and have mastered both spacewalking and orbital docking. So that made it clear that being young was not the case for China. So NASA and Russia, with the help of some other nations, kept building on the first space station, and China, after showing their worth, wanted to join the development of it. One of the Chinese astronauts, Ni Hesheng, had this to say about the ISS. I also look forward to going to the International Space Station. Space is a family affair. Many countries are developing their space programs, and China, as a big country, should make our own contributions in this field. But that contribution can't happen aboard the ISS. Well, there were reasons why the USA didn't want to collaborate with China. 
trust issues became the source of the United States' unwillingness to work with China on the International Space Station. The first reason for the distrust was the use of an anti-satellite weapon. In 2007, China launched a ballistic missile that collided with a non-operational Chinese weather site, which is known as a Direct Ascent Anti-Satellite, or ASAT, attack. The destruction created a cloud of more than 3,000 pieces of space debris, which was the largest ever tracked. Much of it will remain in orbit for decades, posing a significant collision threat to other space objects in low Earth orbit. China confirmed they did this kind of test, and China's development of these kinds of weapons, designed to shoot down satellites, presented a disturbing national security threat, according to the USA. Even though China has not publicly acknowledged the existence of any new anti-satellite weapons programs, it wasn't enough to convince the USA. Then there was the hacking of the Jet Propulsion Laboratory incident. Two hackers associated with China's main security service were charged with stealing troves of sensitive digital data from the Navy, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. JPL manages the Deep Space Network, a network of antenna complexes on several continents that monitors both outer space and planet Earth. The hackers also infiltrated computers linked to NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. So because of these reasons, in 2011, the United States Congress passed the Wolf Amendment Law, under which the Congress banned NASA from engaging in agreements and coordination with China. So that made it clear that the USA doesn't want China in the ISS project at all. China's own space station. Being a technological country themselves, China wasn't just going to sit there after their ban from the ISS they started to plan their own space station. China has named its space station Tiangong, and they are sending resources into space to build it. To prepare for Tiangong, China launched two test space stations, Tiangong-1 and Tiangong-2. The first of these, launched in 2011, was visited multiple times by Chinese astronauts. Tiangong-2, launched in 2016, was a shorter-lived test station designed to assess living conditions in orbit, including growing food and measuring radiation levels. Then, the core module, the Tianhe, which translates to Harmony of the Heavens, launched in April 2021. In June 2021, China launched the first astronauts to its space station, taking a significant stride in what some U.S. officials have dubbed a new space race between the two countries. The liftoff, which China officials call a complete success, marked the first time China sent a crewed mission to space in five years. China's space program has been a massive source of national pride, embodying its rise from poverty to the world's second largest economy over the past four decades. Due to be finished by the end of 2022, China's space station will be the only alternative to the two-decade-old ISS. The Future while the USA is against the idea of collaborating with China regarding the development of the ISS, many other nations are keen to see China on board of the ISS project. European Space Agency has shown its willingness to let China join the ISS for quite some time now. Russia is looking at ways to send its astronauts to the Chinese space station. In the coming decades, China has the potential to become a big name in the space community. But at the end of the day, Space should be uniting nations, not separating them. History shows us that when nations join their hands to achieve a shared goal, the achievement becomes much bigger and fruitful. That's all for now. I hope you've learned all about China's ban from the ISS and also China's new space station. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and turn on notifications so you're up to date on the channel's updates. See you in the next video.